Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ryan Lasmaley. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Voltry, a data and use encryption technology that specializes in solving a problem. That problem is data in plain text. How do you feel knowing that your private messages are read, are exposed? How do you know, how, well, actually, how do you feel that knowing that your loved one's messages, sensitive information, is exposed? How do you feel knowing that organizations' most sensitive information is exposed, is used, abused, is out there being sold? Well, the problem is that that problem of data in plain text is persisting and has not been solved. And this is where Voltry comes in play. We've been in stealth mode for over eight years and we have specialized in solving this problem. We are cryptography specialists, mathematicians, physicists that have come together to solve this problem and actually originating on a dairy farm in Ireland. So in terms of leaks, all of you know what the problem is. We have leaks on a continuous basis, thousands of them. Billions of records exposed. Most of them in plain text. 99% of them in plain text. We have a serious problem. It doesn't matter how many onion layers you add. If your data is in plain text, you cut right through the onion. Now, encryption today as it is, right? Every database, every single one of us here using data, working with data on a continuous basis. Encryption as it is, is extremely complex. It's not well understood. And right now, every single time you work with data, you have to decrypt the data to actually be able to work with it. So let's say a marketing team wanting to analyze data, work with data. They actually, the data has to be decrypted to be able to work with it. Sales teams, data teams, every single part of an organization, that data has to be decrypted. They're too complex, too slow, and most of all, they're not secure. Now, with Voltry, we call it data in use encryption. The underlying technology and breakthroughs have been in fully homomorphic and searchable encryption, and anything that you've known about those technologies can be forgotten. We've made it fully usable in existing environments to embed and allow organizations to utilize our technology by providing a software development kit for them to integrate into the existing tech stacks, not changing anything apart from one line of code and literally processing fully randomized encrypted data, full text search and computations in real time. And by the way, there's no special purpose hardware that is needed for that. Now, Explaining, again, in simple terms, a marketing team, let's say, wants to have a report for a marketing campaign. They write a query, that query is encrypted. It would be processed over a fully randomized encrypted data set to return encrypted response and decrypted client side. We don't hold data. We don't touch any of it. Now, it's not only about reducing risk, but enabling opportunities. What can an encrypted tomorrow bring? And what can it do for us? In terms of crea creation of value, building new products on top of encrypted data that you couldn't do before, thriving with compliance, reducing costs from cyber insurance to HSM, costs to energy costs, given we process encrypted data so efficiently. Now, at Voltry, we actually just closed our A round um, with Sentinel-1, Molten-1011 in the US. Uh, total, we raised close to 20 million now, and we are actually launching this GA in a week and a half. So this is not a concept. This is happening and is already working with customers right now. This is extremely exciting because this is for the first time would mean you don't have to decrypt data anymore to work with it and do this at scale. We are talking about billions of records, processing those fully encrypted. We're a team of 50 spread across 10 countries, actually, and um, a cryptography specialist team, including software engineers from Brazil all the way to North America and Europe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ryan.
We are going to see if uh, the jury has questions. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Um, just to make me understand, um, what would be the business case for an organization that uses, for instance, Microsoft Advanced Info Information Protection? Um, does it replace that or does it add on to that? Okay, so, uh, no, so just maybe to clarify this, there's no solution out there that currently allows for processing of encrypted data at scale. So with Microsoft, they have a solution called Always Encrypted, but it only does an equality search. For anything else, you actually have to decrypt the data. And to give you a little uh, example here, performing a wildcard query, over 10 million record data set with that solution, you have to decrypt everything, then process your wildcard query over that. That took around 22 minutes. With Voltry, us processing that server side encrypted took 0 0.9 seconds. And is it possible to integrate that? Yes, both absolutely, yeah, okay. it is. And we are actually launching right now for full support for Postgres, MariaDB, MySQL, and also be tackling now Snowflake, Databricks, Oracle, Azure, and we launched last year with GCP, partnered with engineering team there, to launch the first fully functional data in use encryption in the cloud via AlloyDB. So we launched with Google Next. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, yeah, just to be sure, you're not looking for funding, so it's more... No more. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. A bit about, <clears throat> you're telling us that you're faster, uh, or, or at least uh, the, the other ones are slower, other solutions are slower, less secure, more complex. Uh. Um, what's the, besides the fact that you're better than on that side, are you more expensive or um, no? No, we are fully sublinear. So we made those technologies fully sublinear, meaning it doesn't matter as your data set grows, right, uh, with column level encryption right now, let's say you have about 10,000 records, right, with, um, with that performing a, a sum of whatever query that might take 400 milliseconds, right, with column level encryption because you have to decrypt it and then process over that. With us, it might take 10 milliseconds, fully encrypted processing that. Now you move up to 20,000 records, that doubles with column level encryption with us, is fully sublinear. So it doesn't matter as you grow, plus you do this, uh, the example I mentioned with Microsoft was done on an Intel i7 core processor. So this is not FPGA or silicon based dependent. Yeah, can you explain a bit how does it get deployed? So you, you have a, the SDK, uh, you spoke about the platforms that you support. Is there any requirement for the SDK to be deployed? Uh, and what are the limitations or, I mean, how, how does it work? Yeah, yeah, of course. So the SDK would be sent uh, in a zip to, uh, to a customer in this case. There's co no connection between us and the customer. It does integrate with existing KMS solutions. So if there's a requirement for, let's say, YubiKeys or um, GCP KMS or another KMS, right? It integrates with that, but from an SDK perspective, an in installation, you literally change a line of code. So you, my SQL JDBC driver would be changed to the Voltree JDBC driver in this case, and then some functions server side. So literally, it's very, very simple. And to give you an idea how fast this is, one of our customers in Germany um, actually uh, integrated and set this up within two hours for several of their databases. So it is very, very fast, highly scalable. The thing is, uh, you would have to change a line of code, so for anything that is closed source, we can actually have a workaround to enable, still in this case, we are a proxy to use a solution. So thank you so much, Ryan, for thank your you. intervention, Thanks. your presentation. Thank you.